Hello, Mrs. Lovett here, and I am going to work on May 1st. I was going to say science because this is about science, but it is actually a literacy page, but it does, it's also science. So, anyway, here we go. Germs. Germs are tiny living organisms like bacteria, viruses, and protozoa that can only be seen under a microscope. Germs can cause diseases that kill people. They have killed more humans than anything else in the history of man. Bacteria are tiny living plants that feed off other organisms. They grow rapidly and can carry a disease from one organism to another. Bacteria are able to live in places where other organisms would die. They grow a thick wall that protects them from light and dryness. This protective wall is called a spore. When they find a good place to grow, like inside a body, they break through the spore and grow quickly. Scientists are not really sure what a virus is, but they do know that it is a small organism that carries such diseases as measles, smallpox, and yellow fever. Protozoa are single-celled animals that carry diseases such as malaria and sleeping sickness. Germs can enter our bodies through small cuts in our skin, the food we eat, or through the air we breathe. Our bodies have ways to protect us from some germs. We can help by getting a vaccination, a shot that protects us from some diseases, and keeping ourselves as clean as possible. So now let's look at the questions. And I know in class you're usually looking at the questions and then skimming the, the text, but I really wanted to read the text in case you had any trouble with it. Also, it's very interesting. Okay, number one, what is the main idea of this story? A, germs are tiny plants and animals that carry diseases. Sounds good. B, vaccinations help kill diseases. The whole paragraph was not about vaccinations, so that's not the main idea. So I'm going to eliminate B. Germs grow quickly. Again, yes, but that's not what the whole paragraph was about. So I'm going to go with A. Germs are tiny plants and animals that carry diseases. Two, what are three types of germs? We go straight from the text here. Germs are tiny organisms like bacteria, viruses, and protozoa. So those are the types. So I'm going to start way over here. Hopefully I have enough room and I'm going to get rid of this. So remember to CSRQ, which stands for Complete Sentence Restate Question. The three types of germs are, we have, oops, bacteria, viruses, and protozoa, period. Okay, number three, what is bacteria? Again, go back to the, I can't, it's dark, I can't find my, there it is. Okay, bacteria. Bacteria are tiny living plants that feed off organisms. And also, I'm going to put they carry disease. Okay, so what is bacteria? Remember to restate bacteria are bacteria, there's more than one, tiny living plants. Feed off other organisms and can carry disease. Period. What is a spore? Let's see, I see the word spore here. They grow a thick wall that protects them from light and dryness. This protective wall is called a spore. 
So, not bacteria, not a dead germ. It's a thick protective wall. How do germs get into our bodies? Come over here. I skimmed for germs. Germs can enter our bodies through small cuts in our skin, the food we eat, or through the air we breathe. Remember to restate, germs can get... I know I go back from print and cursive, but I'm trying not to make as much noise with the pen. Germs can get into our bodies through cuts in our skin comma food or through air and I cut out some of the words from the text six what is a vaccination um, you can go you can go back to the story but I think most of us know that it's not a type of virus a sleeping sickness it's a shot that gives protection from certain germs I know that one could be kind of confusing because um, we hear that it's part live virus <laughs> but anyway that's more in detail with vaccinations but I'd have to look that up but from the text I guess we better go back to the text is a shot that protects us from some diseases okay think ahead why do you think germs are bigger killers than guns or wars so that would definitely be bonus if you would like to turn the page over or use a blank page and write about that I again found this extremely interesting because we have the COVID-19 or the coronavirus right now so that falls under a virus and it is affecting us in many many ways because we cannot go to school it is a pandemic um, from the CDC the cases from as of yesterday was 981,246 cases in the U.S. since the 1st um, in February. Now, that's not the first that we had in Arkansas, but that was the first case in the U.S. Okay, and out of that number, our deaths are 55,258. And I know a lot of people in the media saying, um, not a big deal. We die from lots of other things all the time. But um, to me, this is, this is a big deal. Um, of course, we don't want to die from anything. But um, if it's something we can prevent, then by all means, let's try to do that. Um, so we need to follow the CDC's guidelines and stay at home if you can stay home if you can't stay six feet away from people and wash your hands I'm still seeing videos of people on Facebook touching their face and coughing into their hand and I've always been kind of nitpicky about that as a teacher in a classroom when I see your hands in your mouth or I see you coughing into your hand. I will remind you not to do that and have you go use some hand sanitizer. Of course, soap and water is best, but we don't always have access to that. So I just want to let you know, please remember, do not touch your face. Get in the habit now because when we do get back to school, we really need to adhere to these policies of uh, do not touch your face. Do not touch your face. If you have an itch, use your pencil. Scratch your nose. Don't pick it, but I mean, you can scratch your nose with your pencil. Um, if you do have a cough, cough into the elbow or, you know, get a tissue. Um, 
and then use hand sanitizer. But do not cough into your hand and then go back to work like normal because you've gotten those germs all over from your cough to your hand and then your hand is touching everything. So please remember these guidelines. Um, start practicing now because when we do go back to school, we will definitely have to um, take care of ourselves and try to keep from spreading germs of any kind so that we can stay in school and uh, keep learning. We don't want to be sick. Okay, so very good article from Miss Settle today for May 1st. So.